Season 3 is out and with it comes a new best method for the Unlimited Essence glitch. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get Unlimited Essence from scratch and it takes you no time at all. Make sure you follow my steps carefully to get this done as fast as possible. Now this updated video will be included in my next glitch compilation. So make sure that you're subscribed and turn on notifications to keep up with all the latest and greatest glitches. The current all working glitches video for season three is linked up at the top right in the description down below. Now previously there was an extremely OP aftermarket attachment called the Jack Purifier. I, man, I missed this thing already. This thing was a killer and killed Mega Abominations in seconds. Unfortunately, like all OP items, they nerfed it as a part of the release of season three. Luckily for you, no matter what the best method is, I will look into it for you guys. So let's get right into the fastest way possible to get unlimited essence. So if you're not already doing the tombstone duplication glitch, you need to be doing that each and every single game. But the glitch that we're going to be doing today requires multiple players. In fact, it's actually better. The more players that you have on your team, the more it actually multiplies your winning. So if you have three players on your team, it's going to go three times as fast. So without further ado, let's get into the steps of this glitch. I'm going to make this video very, very quick so that you guys can get the updated information and be on your way. So first of all, if your teammates have a tombstone on the map, make sure that everyone destroys it. Now, like I mentioned before, we had the Jack Purifier, but we no longer have it. So we're going to need to find an alternative method in order to actually gain the essence. And that's where this new method comes into play. Now, I don't want to waste any of your time, so what I'm going to do is explain exactly what's changed, first of all, at the start of this video. So, in my previous video, if you are a subscriber, you'll remember this one. I was canceling contracts in Tier 3 in order to generate a bounty contract. If you didn't know, a certain amount of contracts usually show up in each zone, so if you cancel a bunch of them, it will generate them and randomly select one or the other. And usually, it was a bounty contract that would show up. I got really lucky with mine, at least. But the problem was, is in Tier 3, I tried to do the delivery contracts instead of bounties. Since there's no flamethrower, it's going to be a little bit harder. I found that they don't generate as much as the bounty contracts. It was the weirdest thing in the world. It took me about 20 cancels just to get a single delivery contract after I did my first first one. So you may be asking yourself, okay, so what is the best method? I'm going to give it to you right now. It is tier two bounty contracts. Now I'm not lying. Let me explain in the next 30 seconds to a minute, because I know some people will have differing opinions, but I have justifications for my opinion. All right. So first of all, you're going to need an upgraded scorcher. Now, the reason for this is obvious. You can fast travel. You can see here, I am flying around the map. You can get from one edge to the map to the other within 45 seconds. I've already demonstrated that in previous videos. Now here's the straightforward explanation of why. So tier two bounty contracts are relatively easy with upgraded pack-a-punch guns, right? However, you only need a scorcher for this because an upgraded scorcher kills the bounties extremely quickly. So literally you don't have to bring your friends along at all. You can fast travel and you can kill the bounties super quickly. So let's watch how fast I actually kill this. And now my aim is terrible here, just forewarning you. I, I, I don't know how I missed that bad. However, you can see here within seconds I've killed the the bounty now this is the slowest one that i had all right full disclosure this is the slowest bounty that i had however fast traveling to it saved me a ton of time and it only took a couple of seconds and as you can see here i actually ended up having a bounty contract all the way in the north across the map but that's not a problem at all because again just like i said you can get from one edge of the map to the other in about 45 seconds it's extremely easy to actually fast travel if you do it correctly so make sure you check out that video if you want it's somewhere on my channel so what you want to do is just run around and keep killing these bounties. And for each player on your team, it's going to multiply your winning. So for example, if you have three players on your team, you are going to be getting 6,000 essence. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, with a tier three contract, I'm getting 15,000 each. And here's the thing, guys, you only need about 30,000 to actually start doing the glitch. Keep in mind, we haven't even started the glitch yet. All you're doing is gaining essence in your first game. So once you get around 30,000, we can actually get into the glitch itself. So let's get into those steps real quick and close this video out. Now at this point in the video, you need to consolidate all of the items in essence onto a single player. Now, if you have too many items to hold on one player, that is fine. But what you want to do is for each player that does this part of the video, which is the actual glitch, you are going to need them to be holding everything that is valuable to you. So what you want to do is make sure that they have tombstone and that they have all the items in essence on their player. So let's say that it is 30,000 total between you and all of your teammates. They want to go down with tombstone and then give up and plead for help. And what's going to happen is it's actually going to take away your tombstone. It's a little bit weird, but what is happening is you're actually placing a tombstone 
onto the ground. So you are still in the game and you still have the ability to be picked up. But here's the simple process here that you need to repeat. You need to equip Tombstone plus all the essence, go down, plead for help, get revived, and then the other players will essentially repeat those steps. Now, the last and final step to die and leave the game, I will show you in a second exactly the order of operations because you need to be careful here. You can mess this up. If, for example, if you buy Tombstone or drink it after this point, once you've gone down and pled for help, your tombstone is gone. You do not have it on the ground anymore and you have messed up the glitch. So this is what I'm talking about. If you just simply get down this process and never mess it up, then you will be good. So each one of your players on your team will repeat this process. And what that's gonna do is it's going to set a tombstone with the amount of money that you consolidated onto that player for each individual teammate. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna turn 30,000 essence into 90,000. Now you may be thinking to yourself if this is the first time that you've seen this, there's absolutely no way that that's true. That makes no sense. This isn't even a glitch. This is a, a, a feature or something like that. If you're gonna sit here and tell me that duplicating 30,000 essence into 90,000 essence is a feature, then I'm just gonna call you crazy because that's what you are. But some people get confused on this and so that is the glitch part is all I'm saying. And I will visually demonstrate it for you in a second so that you don't even have to play the game in order to see the proof. So as you can see, I'm going to go down at the end of the game and I'm going to give up. And what I'm gonna do is not plead for help. So this is what I'm talking about, die and leave the game. That was step six. You want to wait until you actually get eliminated now alternatively you can run into the out of bound zone or you know any way anywhere else that you can die or any other way that you can die you're going to die and what's going to happen is you're going to lose everything that's on you so i wouldn't suggest bringing your insured weapon because again you're going to lose whatever you have on you including your large backpack but that's okay because again you are duplicating your essence and items so as you can see here i come back into the game and i can pick up that essence now, each time that you come back into the game, I highly suggest that you just save your tombstone soda, the physical one, and purchase it from the machine. It's just easier and you obviously have the essence for it. So each time that you come in, you're going to repeat this process with your friends. So for example, if we started out with 30,000 essence between me and my teammates, I place it on one player, then we all go down one at a time. You have now multiplied it into 90,000 essence. The next game, you will do 90,000, 180,000, 270,000. It's very simple simple guys. So whatever your current amount of essence is, however many players that you have on your team, it is multiplied by, right? So if you have two players, just two players, you can still do this quickly. Just go ahead and get 30,000 essence, right? And then through one game, you're going to get 60,000, then you're going to get 120,000, then you're going to get 240,000, etc, etc. So as many times as you want to do this, you can. Now, most people like to get up to max essence just because it's fun to look at. And it's just a ridiculous amount of essence. I honestly, Honestly suggest that you just get a couple hundred thousand don't waste your time and then when the game glitches out and you lose your tombstone you're just you know sol i would highly suggest that you do this with at least two to three players honestly i would say three players obviously two is required but each time that you repeat this you are repeating the amount of essence that you're duplicating by the end of it you're going to have all of this essence on the ground and as you can see this is how i get 900,999 essence i have an alt account though that i always store on this side so that i can make sure that i always have this essence available to me in case mine glitches but if you don't then make sure that you have a friend who can help you out anytime but if you guys appreciate this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate the 17,000 subs that I've gotten so far. I love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me and I will catch you guys in the next video.